been about bouncing back. I mean, we did a good job the first game. We hit the ball really well. We came out uh, super excited and, and swinging the bat really well. Um, you know, last year we played them and lost all four games. So going in, you know, the whole goal was to win the series. And when you start off and you put up three, I think three or four hits in the first inning and score two, three runs, I mean, it just, it changed the whole atmosphere and how we were feeling about ourselves. And our first game was great. You know, um, granted at the same time, Aaron Baylor, didn't play the best game, and then we kind of flip-flopped that. Now, a little flat, um, didn't play very well, but at the end of the game, it's like I told him, I'm like, you know, we all need to accept, you know, our down downfalls in that game, and we need to stand be better for it. You know, be better for yourself, and then be better for your team, and, and that's what we did. We came back on Saturday and, and played an extremely well-pitched, small ball, and defensive game, and we won the series on that side. So, I'm very proud of the, proud of the team. And our scholar athlete profile this week is with Jade Dickens. And Jade, um, how'd you get into softball? Um, I've been playing softball since I was three. I kind of just always knew that I wanted to play softball, and I got into it with my dad. And it's just something we bonded over, and so like I continued to play. I tried other sports, but it wasn't as much for me. I just kind of always stuck with softball. It was what I knew. It's what I love. So. What's your favorite part of the game? Honestly, I think my favorite part of the game is the fight, like being able, like I don't like games where we blow people out of the water or where they blow us out of the water. I kind of like those two to one games, like those one run difference where you just have to like keep fighting and keep fighting. Kind of like our last game with UMHP. It was very stressful, but I think that's what makes the game fun. <laughs> just knowing that you practiced and practiced and practiced and then you finally get to just put it all together. So we always talk about how softball is just a fast game in general. So whether it's, you know, how quick things are or, or how close the pitcher or third baseman is or whatever the case may be on that side, um, that's kind of what we talk about on that side, you know. And so when it comes to, you know, that small ball, it's about getting things rolling and going there. And it just speeds up the game even more than it already is. And so if you can drop down a bunt and you can steal a base or you can do – your execution stuff. We had a couple of hit and runs this weekend that were executed extremely well, and and when we started doing that, so when we start executing the runs and the hits and that kind of stuff. We start our season. We have two tough opponents. UTD I have a lot of respect for them. Obviously, they came back and took care of business against the Ozarks, and then Merriam Baylor is always good. Has always always been, you know, one of the top teams in the conference. And so, you know, leaving the the first two series, leaving five and one, we're feeling pretty good. And so, you know, one of the things we keep talking about is adversity, and then we talk about how we haven't even hit the stretch yet. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we have a good group, we have a, a young group, um, but we have a very high ceiling. I think we have a long ways to go, and we haven't even come close to it yet. So I think taking this week, taking a break, feeling good about ourselves, um, and coming back next week, getting ourselves focused again, giving a couple of our kids that are injured or whatever, giving them a little more time off, is perfect for us as well.